I think we keep getting it better. Yeah, so we have spent the last several years generating readiness. Okay, so we have we, we have significant readiness and that translates to the second piece is we have a lot of capacity. I don't want to draw on that capacity unnecessarily. So you know we have the capacity to spin a lot of plates. Okay. I prefer that that risk was retired, the situation de-escalates. We've stayed focused on ensuring that we minimize the risk of miscalculation. I say the risk of Iranian miscalculation, some might say U.S. calculation, but it is, it is about mitigating that risk. I don't see a change in, in any behavior. I think the situation is still remains tense. It's a high threat environment, but I haven't seen a change in the last few days. Implementation of the national defense strategy is my, my top priority. China is the priority within the national defense strategy. I know. I do spend quite a bit of time on China, part of our portfolio, and the Russian part of the portfolio. This is where I'm extremely disciplined about that part of managing my time and the department's time. So you know, I have, a, have this strong view that leadership casts a long shadow. So if I spend a appropriate amount of time, others will too, and I create a lot of the forums that draw people into doing that. And if you don't have the discipline, you won't be able to do the, because this is work that requires years. The situation in the Middle East will consume time, and there are other places like North Korea that will consume time. <laughs> this will be, you know, a week just solely dedicated to the issues of the region. But to me, it's more about the listening and being able to hear from the allies and partners, kind of the nuance, you know, in, in, their, in their voice, the nuance of the issues. It's, for me, extremely educational. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. talks it for two days. Yeah. Yeah. When the president says he doesn't want a war with Iran, I think that's pretty clear, right? I mean, I don't think anyone wants a war with Iran. I don't think you'll find people in the the national security apparatus wants a war with Iran. Nobody wants a war. The president is very Not clear. Even the national security advisor? Nobody wants a war. Wait, this is, is this your second time officially on And we can have uh, very candid discussions around intellectual property theft or militarization of the South China Sea or, you know, pick a whole host of subjects. And, and I think that's the value of having these, these dialogues. The trade runs a separate track, and I'll solve that. It's too important not to solve, but those are difficult negotiations. But I don't believe they'll spill over into our dialogue and discussions on defense. Yeah, they just keep bringing me work. <laughs>